Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here out at the field. It's a glorious day, just a light breeze. It's the perfect day to maiden flight the Corsair F4U. Of course running RD Pilot, but all I'm going to do is fly by wire A and just fly it around, make sure everything's good, and then maybe do an auto tune, we'll see uh, if all goes well. So stick around, it's a beautiful plane. I'm really looking forward to getting this one in the air. Oh, and if you haven't seen it, the unboxing video is available. You can check out the unboxing and see what I did. Um, oh, why don't I show you? In here, uh, we ended up putting in a Kakate H743 RD Pilot flight controller. We've got a 2200 milliamp power 4S battery and uh, underneath, if you can see it there is the Express LRS. So the Kakate H743 pack here has a built-in power distribution board so I didn't need to add the extra power distribution board and it's uh, a little bit lighter weight and more compact for this little plane. So let's see how she flies. Doesn't that look beautiful on the field there? Well, let's see if I can steer it. I mean the, the biggest problem with this one is to get it steering straight as you can see and she's up oh beautiful look at that just glorious so I didn't need much runway to get in the air with this guy flies gloriously let's come by a little bit see if we can get the retracts on the way by There they come. I don't know if you saw that, but they're up now and I'm not going to do it again because the focus is on the flying, which seems to be doing very, very nicely. Oh, just glorious. What a beautiful plane. Yeah, let's take it around and do a, a slow pass because right now I'm already enjoying it, which is you know, sometimes a challenge with a new plane, until you get to know it. Um, it's quite quick on the controls, even though I'm in a stabilized mode right now, it's quite responsive. So let's just bring her down a little bit. Let's see if we can come by and give you a little bit of a look. So I'm going to come way down because I'm way up there. Let's see if we can do a dive bomb style run. Okay, here we go. Low pass, throttle up. Wow! And she motors. She really motors on full throttle. It, flying very, very nicely. I'm pretty happy with how the plane, how this little plane flies. It's really quite gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of touch and goes just to get used to landing behavior of the plane before I try a real landing. And obviously I'm way too high right now. So I'm just gonna do a fake pass way above the field just to feel it. But let's just see what happens if I try the flaps. Oh, so it's got really nice slow fly behavior, which should be quite good for landing it especially with the flaps down it's got lots of it's really stable at slow flight so let's see if we can bring her a bit around a bit it needs lots of elevator to turn or rudder to turn interestingly okay let's so see what happens about a you know i'm coming in way too high again so i'm not whoops that was so that's a little bit slow it's got to have A little bit of more throttle in order to keep up the so about 25% throttle Let's see if we can see if we can keep her down a little bit this time okay I'm gonna spin it around and then bring her down nice and steady whoops I can see the wind buffeting the plane a little bit. The stabilizer is. 
okay that wasn't bad i was going too slow i was going to drop it on the ground and possibly bend the landing gear i need to go a little faster to land i think let's try that again so it's not like the simulator let me tell you the simulator it really comes in hard and fast and doesn't like to fly slow and who knows if maybe it's the flight controller that I've got on there that is giving it the better behavior in the and we're down ah oh, beautiful look at that we're down we're in one piece and it's a beautiful little plane to fly